Hello mathematicians. Today we see one nice problem asked in CSAR June 2014. It is a part B problem. Okay, let's see what is the problem. Let A be a 5 by 5 matrix with the real entries such that sum of the entries in each row of A is 1. Therefore, each row sum of the matrix A is 1. Then the sum of all the entries in A cube is what? So what is given? Basically we are given a matrix A and it is a 5 by 5 matrix and they are saying that suppose this is the 5 rows of the matrix A they are saying that you sum the entries here in the first row you will get the value 1 so sum the entries in the second row you will get the value 1 similarly for other rows also given such a real 5 by 5 matrix we want to find sum of all the entries in a cube okay now a is a 5 by 5 mat now a is a 5 by 5 matrix therefore a cube is also a 5 by 5 matrix and uh, we want to find the sum of all the entries of a cube that is a question okay good now first we find an example of a matrix satisfying the given hypothesis so i will give you uh, please pause the video and think for some time and come up with the example of a 5 by 5 matrix with real entries such that sum of the entries in each row of A is 1. Okay. Please pause the video and come up with the example. Okay. I hope you passed and uh, you pause the video and you have come up with your own example. So always try to come up with a simple example so one such very simple example is the a 5 by 5 identity matrix okay sorry now clearly this matrix satisfies the given condition that is each row has some so this row some this row sum is 1, 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 this row sum is 1. Now since this is identity matrix, if you look at a cube, that is again the identity matrix. Okay. Okay. Now it is easy to find the sum of all entries in the matrix a cube. Okay. So now what is the sum of all entries in the matrix a cube? Clearly, um, let me let me write it clearly. Sorry. So if A is this matrix, so does so is A cube. Okay. Therefore, if we count the sum of all the entries of A cube, sum of all the sum of all the entries. It is equal to 5. Correct. Sum of all the entries of a cube is equal to 5. Correct. Because there are there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones are there. Remaining entries are 0. Therefore, the answer uh, therefore for this particular matrix. The, uh, the sum of all the entries of a cube is equal to 5 okay but we have so one important fact is if you are saying one result is true we have to prove it if you are claiming some result is wrong you have to point one example okay or you have to construct an example now we have one example in which the answer we are getting is 5 okay so option 3 we are getting for this one particular example now the question is whether uh, is this 
example alone this example alone sufficient to conclude that 5 is the answer in this case yes this one example is sufficient because the structure of the question is like that so in the question they are saying that you take any matrix a satisfying this condition they are saying that it's a sum of all entries sum of all the entries of a cube has to be one of these four numbers either this either this either this or either this okay but suppose if i say uh, if i say 15 is the answer what is that mean you take any matrix a satisfying this condition for that matrix if you find the sum of all entries of a cube the answer should be 15 okay then only i'll put the answer 15 but i have an example of a matrix a whose uh, a cube sum, sum of all the entries of its cube has value 5 and this is not equal to 15 okay therefore 15 cannot be the answer 15 cannot be the answer okay i hope you understand what i am saying uh, similarly 125 cannot be answer because if 125 is answer that means that you take any matrix a satisfying this condition then it's a cubes sum of all entries should be 125 but we have again one example for which the sum of all entries of a cube is 5 therefore it cannot be 125 also therefore the answer should be similarly it cannot be 5 also therefore the answer is 5 this is one way of solving this problem but suppose in the in the exam center this is a very this is a very much shorter way of doing it but if the same question is asked in the suppose in the interviews okay then you have to give a uh, more detailed explanation you have to theoretically prove it what is the answer so what we do for that reason for interview purposes we we do this problem in more generality you take a is a n by n matrix arbitrary n by n matrix with real entries such that sum of the entries in each row of a is 1 they are saying that the sum is 1 we take the sum to be some l okay then what is the sum of all the entries in some a power k so we we solve this problem in more gen more generally okay so I, I'll, I'll rewrite the problem then it will be uh, very clear for you okay so what is the question we are trying to do so a is a n by n matrix okay uh, rows of a are equal to 1 then what is uh, what is sum of all the entries of some a power k okay so equal to i don't want this to be one i'll take it to be some arbitrary number l okay so if you are if you look at this question a is an arbitrary n by n we take it to be real matrix row sums of a are equal to l each row of a are equal to l okay then what is this sum of all entries of the matrix a power k so if you take uh, n to be 5 by 5 l to be 1 k to be 3 then we are in the so n equal to 5 
L equal to 1, K equal to 3 is the above problem. We, we just solve. Okay. So now we solve this uh, problem in this generality. Okay. Okay. First, uh, I take, uh, I define En. En is uh, uh, is a R1 vector belongs to R power n. Okay, so it is a n. Uh, it is a n by one column vector whose all the entries are all the coordinates are one. Okay, now uh, what is a times en that we'll calculate. So before we write the answer here, first we do an example and see what is it. Suppose A is my uh, say A B C D E F uh, G H I and one one one. If you do this, you will get uh, A plus B plus C D plus E plus F G plus H plus I. So basically. Acting a matrix on the all one vector will give you a new vector in which uh, in which each uh, entry will be the this uh, row sum. What is a uh, sum of this row? That is a plus b plus c. What is the sum of this row? This is d plus e plus f. Okay. So therefore, if I substitute, uh, therefore now we get the answer. To the equation here this should be l times uh, en why because uh, now uh, for the matrix uh, for the matrix a we have assumed that all the row sums are equal to l right therefore so this row sum will be l this row sum will be l this will be l so all of this will be equal to l l L so I can take one L outside and I can write it as sorry I can write it as 1 1 L times 1 1 1 okay therefore uh, if uh, if uh, row sums of A are equal to L then we can write then A E N equal to L times E N this means that uh, L is an eigenvalue of a with the eigen vector en okay so whenever a matrix has a constant row sum the row sum is equal to l then this vector en is an eigen vector with the corresponding eigenvalue l okay so this is our first uh, first uh, observation now similarly we do this uh, 1 1 1 so this is uh, we calculate uh, we calculate e n transpose a e n so what is e a transpose a e n so this is what we want to calculate again we will do one example so e n transpose is 1 1 1 then a is uh, a b c d e f G H I, then uh, one one, then E N one one one. So this is equal to, so uh, this value we have calculated it here. Just to put it, we get one comma one comma one. Sorry, we get one comma one comma one times A plus B plus C, D plus E plus F, G plus H plus I. And this is equal to a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g plus h plus i. So this is equal to sum of all the entries of a. Okay. So if I want the sum of all, if I want sum of all entries of a matrix, then I I, I can always pre multiplied by en transpose post multiplied by the vector en to get uh, so so basically 
pre multiplying by en transpose post multiplying by en a matrix will give us the sum of all entries of the matrix so in our problem we want the sum of all entries of the matrix a power k so we calculate en transpose a power k en okay so this is equal to en transpose a power k minus 1 times a of en what is a of en we just saw above a of en is l times en correct therefore this is equal to en transpose a power k minus 1 times uh, l times en okay so we can take out take uh, take the l outside we get uh, a k minus 2 times l a of en okay so i have taken a a from this and i have acted the and this l times en so l is a scalar come out so i get a en so again i get en transpose uh, a power k minus 2 times l square en correct so if we keep applying this we get en transpose l power k times en okay therefore this is equal to l power k times en transpose into en simplifying this we get l power k times n why because uh, for example 1 1 1 into 1 1 1 if you multiply we get 3 so similarly so this is uh, e3 transpose into e3 okay similarly if i do en transpose into en i'll get the value n okay therefore the therefore the sum of all entries of the matrix a power k is equal to l power k times n okay in uh, in particular if the if the sum of elements of each rows of a is equal to 1 that is l equal to 1 then the sum of all the entries of a power k is equal to n okay because l is 1 so if you substitute uh, l equal to 1 here we get n okay so this is the more general answer to the problem okay if you have some questions uh, just put it in the comments i'll be very happy to answer your questions have a good day thank you